Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to Gran Turismo 2, to the second half of the Trial Mountain 30 lap endurance race. Are you guys ready? Let's get it going. <laughs> Holy mac. And you can see our tires uh, change back to uh, blue there. We got a fresh set of rubber. If you're wondering what the blue color is compared to the green, uh, blue simply means that your tires are still cold, as uh, tires are, well, I mean, <laughs> tires are quite obviously made of rubber, uh, so when you warm up rubber, <clears throat> you know, it gets nice and sticky, gets nice and sticky and sticks to the uh, road surface real nice, uh, so when your tires are cold, you'll kind of be uh, sort of sliding around a little bit, whoa, it's almost like you're on uh, skateboard tires or something, and yes! If you hear that maddening noise in the background, uh, that is my cat. <laughs> my cat is in heat again, you guys. I swear, this is like gonna become part of this damn YouTube channel, this freaking cat screaming in the background. Swing! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? He's a nice kitty. <laughs> oh, kitty, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. If you guys missed it in the, uh, or if you didn't watch the first half of this race, uh, while recording right now, it is actually my birthday, you guys. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, rare, I know, kitty. It's actually my kitty's birthday as well because uh, I don't know exactly what day my kitty was born. I uh, found her outside when she was just a little kitten. She was all dirty. And I brought her inside, gave her a bath, cleaned her all up, <laughs> and gave her a nice place to stay. And then I, uh, I named her, uh, her name is Celine, like S-E-L-E-N-E. -E -E. Uh, she's named after uh, Kate Beckinsale's character from the movie franchise Underworld, my little kitty cat death dealer. She hunts the lichens. She hunts for lichens at night. <laughs> uh, I call her that because she's she's an all black cat. She's like a Halloween cat. So Celine. Uh, Kate Beckinsale's character is always wearing all that uh, black leather and the black cape and all that stuff, and her hair is like uh, sterling, sterling black in the movie as well. She is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous in that movie. <laughs> I'll definitely say that. <laughs> Kate Beckinsale is one, one attractive lady, holy mac. I remember when Underworld first came out, and I didn't really know who Kate Beckinsale was. Like, the first time I watched the movie, I was like, my goodness. Is she ever gorgeous? <laughs> Rawr yourself, kitty! And my cat's like, I know I'm gorgeous. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Hobo! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, we almost... We almost had a bad day there. Oh. If I had to hit that, that would have launched me up into the air. That's actually one of the uh, biggest jumps in uh, <laughs> Gran Turismo that you can hit. It's that little spot right there that we almost accidentally hit. As well as uh, right before you go through the finish line on Trial Mountain, there's a huge jump that you can... Whoa! Oh, that was so slick! Oh, but then I turned in too early to finish it off. That was crazy slick, man. We came like a millimeter from that corner. but then I messed it up right after. <laughs> I can't wait to start doing rally racing and stuff. That's my favorite shit, if you guys are wondering. Rally racing? Oh, I absolutely adore rally racing. WRC, even if, even if it's not WRC, you know, if it's just like a normal, everyday, random rally event <clears throat> with random people that I've never heard of before, man, rally's so awesome. Those guys are absolutely nuts, man. 
flying through the forest. <laughs> flying through the forest at like 200 kilometers an hour, like, holy, on a street that is literally the same width as your car. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. And they drive so perfectly, too. You ever watch, like, uh, WRC highlights? They're so perfect sometimes. Perfect amount of speed, perfect amount of turning, and uh, it's just amazing to watch. <laughs> I always say, you know, like, Formula One definitely is the highest echelon of professional racing. You, you've got to be literally, like, superhuman uh, to, to compete in Formula One. But then, WRC is definitely very, uh, a very close second, because, you know, those guys... It's hard to explain if you've never watched it before, I mean, go ahead and type in, uh, go to YouTube and type in, like, WRC, uh, highlights or something like that, man. Those, those guys will blow your mind. Some of the stuff that they're brave enough to do. <laughs> it's like every moment of the race... <laughs> you are, like, just a millimeter, a centimeter away from complete and total disaster. You know? And when they crash, man, oh, they crash big, you know? Because a lot of the tracks don't have any barriers or anything like that. You fly off the track and rally, you're going straight into the friggin' woods. <laughs> or, like, off of a friggin' cliff or something, you know? It's crazy. And yet, those guys go out there and slam their damn gas pedal to the floor and <laughs> go around, they go around some corners that it literally looks like they're going two times too fast. <laughs> like, sir, <laughs> you're not just going too fast, you're going way too fast and you must slow down. But then they somehow are able to make these miraculous corners and uh, it's just beautiful. It's like poetry or something. Poetry on four wheels. <laughs> I have all the respect in the world for uh, Formula One car drivers and WRC. Uh, that shit's insane. Formula One, just because you you really have to be like the most sensitive driver, you can't just go balls to the wall in a Formula One car. Like, one tiny mistake, and that is literally the end of your race. Those cars are designed to break apart into separate pieces if you hit stuff. <laughs> So, you know, even if you lightly, I, um, I mean, I'm sure you guys know, even if you just lightly touch a wall or something like that in a Formula One car, I mean, everything is broken. Immediately, everything is broken. <laughs> so, to have that amount of precision, oh my goodness, oh, we're going to flip it. Hiya! <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get that proper 360 in Gran Turismo. <laughs> Reverse doesn't always work properly. And, whoa, in Gran Turismo. Oh my goodness, what is happening, sir? Oh, we are all over right now. Okay. Concentration. <laughs> that was not very Formula One-esque of me. <laughs> the kid <kitty> says. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, man, once again, if you guys want to make recommendations for games that you want me to play or anything like that, please tell me about it in the comments. Oh god. <laughs> and uh, if I have the game, uh, that'll be the next game that I begin playing on my show. Because I aim to please. Whoa, did you see that booty jump? Woo, I like a girl who jumps that booty that high. My goodness, girl, Savannah. car eats it up. I think we're being chased by a, a Subaru Legacy right now of all cars. <laughs> uh, 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 we entered that very shallow. <gasps> oh, we broke our uh, previous best lap time of uh, 134.7. We got a 134.2. And we broke our lap time by half a second. Alright you guys, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Let's try and break our lap record. Come on, baby. Tighten, 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 tighten. That's my girl. Oh, we lost it. I was trying to push. <laughs> I believe that this is the. Uh... Oh no. No, it is not. I believe the car in first place is a red car. I'm just not sure uh, what cars are in this race. Well, I know there's a Golf. I believe that's him right there. I do remember passing up a Golf. There's a Golf, a Lantis. Yeah, that's a Golf. <laughs> I believe there's a Lantis. I think the Lantis is in uh, last place. It's that little white car with the big... Uh, with the big beam tail light that goes across. Well, there's another red car. Not sure if the guy in first place was over overtaken by another vehicle, and uh, this is the guy who was in first before. I mean, lap times, even if you got the fastest car, if you got some shitty ass tires on your car, you're gonna be taking way more pit stops than everybody else. Whoa. Easy, easy. Okay. Oh yeah, I wasn't going to try to correct that around that curb. Just let it run over the grass. <laughs> Oof, that would have got me a nasty, a nasty penalty in uh, GT uh, Grand Turismo Sport. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a BMW. Alright, so we got a red BMW. We got a red Volkswagen Golf. I know there's a white uh, Lantis. I believe it's Atlantis. It might be, um... Oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, it might be something else. There's an awful lot of cars in this game. <laughs> Woo! Holy! I, I let her rip there. Held the brakes and slammed the gas. L let all four tires rip it up a bit. What do you want? <laughs> You're supposed to say more! <laughs> and when do you want it? Mow! <laughs> oh, this cat, yeah. <laughs> Did you just call me a moron? Did you guys hear that? She's like, moron! This cat. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> the gall of some people. Looks like the sky is getting a little cloudy or something. <laughs> I remember being a nice blue sky on Trial Mountain. Uh, maybe we're just faced, faced in a strange room. Or I'm thinking of what uh, Trial Mountain looks like in Gran Turismo 3. That nice glow, with that nice sun in the sky. It's like uh, mid-morning. <laughs> Trial Mountain's always been one of my favorite tracks in Gran Turismo. It has a good balance of, uh, good balance of, uh, like, types of turns, nice tight turns, big banking turns, nice big giant sweeper after a very high speed section, uphill high speed straight away, downhill high speed straight away, very nice. A couple of switchbacks, a very nice chicane, this is my, one of my favorite chicanes in Gran Turismo right here, this right hand turn, and then this left hand turn right here. I freaking love taking those two turns, man. You can, like, swear, you can almost feel the G-forces in your body. Like, it, it makes you lean your shoulders over to go around that corner. <clears throat> and this turn, too, also. I find this turn, too, also makes me uh, do, like, an actual physical lean over. I'm talking, like, in real life, I actually move my shoulders physically to the side a little bit. You guys do that when you play racing games? You actually kind of move around in your seat a little bit, almost like you're driving a car for real, and you can feel the, the G-forces. I find it helps me to uh, to feel where the car's center of balance is while I'm driving. Lean with it, rock with it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lean with it, rock with it. Lean with it, rock with it. Ah, oh, are we going to break this lap time? Come on, 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 come Crushing. Crushing. Oh, 
Oh, that was so perfect, you guys. Oh, man, that was so perfect, that series. Oh, this guy's gonna ruin my freaking day. Yeah, made me enter all shallow because he's in my damn way. <laughs> now he's gonna block me right here. Come on. Raw. I want a 133-0. Or a 132.9. Get out of my way, sir. If I touch him, he's gonna ruin my lap time. That probably ruined it right there, because I had to enter it all shallow. <coughs> but we were we were still keeping our speed decently through there. I'm gonna keep heating it. Heating it up. Oh yeah, we are flying. <laughs> That was so beautiful. Oh, that would have shook you uncontrollably inside the vehicle in real life. <laughs> that would have been a very scary moment in real life to have the car bouncing like that at 100 miles an hour going around that freaking corner. Ooh, my stomach would tighten up for sure. <laughs> That's how you know you're at the absolute limit of grip in a four-wheel drive car when it starts bouncing like that. seasoned it, but yeah, we're short because we had to make two shallow entrances to avoid that other uh, car. Huh. Come on, baby. Rawr. Oh, we got some understeer there. <laughs> My tires are a little bit, uh, a little bit too damaged to, oh, jeez. My tires are a little bit too damaged to try for, uh, our best lap time. <laughs> this we got that 133.586, man, that's hot. In a car with only 293 horsepower. Phew. We are heating it up out here. <laughs> Jeez. My mouth is so dry, you guys, because I can't take a sip of my drink at any moment, because it's an endurance race. And I ain't gonna sit here pausing the game over and over again like it's an endurance race. It's supposed to challenge your ability <laughs> to endure, <laughs> you know? Woo. Eat it. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness, did we ever get a big G shot over to the left? Goodness me. <coughs> I almost uh, spun it out there if I didn't... Uh, slam the wheel to the right when that began happening, we definitely would have did a big, a big old 360, maybe. Alright, there's the Lantis. So I think the BMW actually is in first place. We're going to have to wait until the end of the race to uh, see the standings. Or a second place, I should say. I'm in first place. Durr! <laughs> Although I kind of do consider the computer in Gran Turismo to just be kind of, like, racing their own race <laughs> while I just win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though we've lost a couple of times. I don't care, though. I mean, shit. After I'm done playing this normal playthrough of Gran Turismo 2, if you guys want to, if you guys want me to record a second session of this game, like I said, just request it and I will do it. If you guys want me to play uh, uh, the whole game through, uh, get all the golds on all the licenses and try not to lose any races whatsoever. I will definitely do that. If you guys want to actually see me play at a professional level, I can certainly switch up how I play games. But, um, I mean, for me personally, I just like playing games for fun. You guys know that. I like to laugh. I like the enjoyment of... <laughs> I like the enjoyment of playing a game. I see second gear there. <laughs> this car is a mean machine, baby. And it only has 293 horsepower. That's the crazy part. Now, we are hitting 130 miles an hour in this car, too, with only 293 horse. That is pretty impressive, you guys. Whoa. No. <laughs> yep, I'm flying through the air. This is not good. <laughs> Oh, 
I knew that was going to kick us out. Whoa. We are losing gravity. <laughs> okay, back to control. Oh, we're still wobbling, wobbling a little bit. There we go. Lost our center of gravity going through the first tunnel. That's one thing I love, um, I've always loved about Trial Mountain as well, is that, like, man, a good, like, 20% of this track goes through tunnels. And this is almost like a tunnel anyways. I mean, you're, the trees are all above you, like, kind of blocking the sky. You know what I'm saying? Pretty cool. Whoa. I wanted it to kick it just a little bit more and then try to RPM drift out. But I mean, you guys know drifting in a drifting in a four wheel one. Four four wheel one, you got four wheel one, that is what I have just said. Yeah, drifting in a four-wheel drive car is oh god! Not the easiest thing to do. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a lot worse than it was. <laughs> I thought we were gonna go 90 to 90 degrees right into the wall. <laughs> a la Need for Speed Underground. God, I hated that about Need for Speed Underground. Every time you freaking crash, you somehow will always end up facing perfectly 90 degrees right into a wall. I have no idea how it, it like manages to happen every time in that game, but damn. That really... <laughs> That drove me nuts about that game. It's just the shape of the tracks. I believe this is the Subaru Legacy. Can't remember if there's drafting in Gran Turismo 2 or not. I'd have to really test that out. I think there is. Like, uh... Is that a Legacy? What is that? Are you, sir? That... I think it is a legacy. I'm not 100% sure. There are so many cars in this game, but sometimes I see cars, I'm like, the hell is that? Or is it an Alfa Romeo? Looks like an Alfa Romeo 156. What is that, you guys? <laughs> We're gonna have to wait till the end of the race to find out. And yes, I will leave the uh, um, race finishing screen up for a little bit so that you guys can uh, see where the other car is placed <coughs> and see uh, see who came in, uh, you know, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I'll just leave it up for like 30, 30 sec 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Here we go, you guys, last lap. Woo, jumping. Rip it. Uh, our tires are too damaged. I, I was trying to do a big, big, giant drift around that, but it just was not happening. Drift, baby, drift! No, it's not having it at all. <laughs> Let's try it right here with a big pivot drift. Even if I pivot, it, it still won't drift. But the front tires are so damaged. <laughs> They're like made of gelatin, basically, right now. If you touch them with your hand, your hand would stick to them. It would not be very funny, if you're wondering. <laughs> you would be on your way to the hospital, for sure. Did you guys know that, like, Formula One tires can actually get up to, like, friggin' 300 degrees? Yo, that is crazy, dude. That's enough, well... Well, that is literally enough to instantaneously cause second-degree burns if you touch it with your bare hand. Instantaneously. That's like touching a, it's like touching a frying pan. <laughs> That's crazy, yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, 360 through the finish. Hiya! Yes, sir. All right. 143, 2:22, our final lap time. Total time of 48 minutes, 34 seconds, and point. 537. You can see we lapped everybody by two. 
and the final guy by three. Oh, it was a Laguna. Okay, because I was going to say the one that I thought was a uh, Lantis uh, it might be something else, and it was the Penalt Laguna. And it was an Alfa Romeo 156. I was right. A Volkswagen Golf. The uh, BMW 328 CI came in third place. And in second place, and only one lap behind me, was the Toyota Celica M Type S version, uh, 1999. So there's our finish. <laughs> Jeez, that was really loud in my headset. If you guys are wondering. <laughs> like, damn. 150 G's. Stack them up. Put them in that briefcase right there. <laughs> New car acquired, baby. Got a quick game saver roller. Oh man, I can finally take a sip of my drink, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, so delicious. Uh, Fruitopia, strawberry passion, Fruitopia. Mm. Delicious. So let's go see what we won. Oh, oh you guys, we won the goddamn Unicia Denso Sard Supra GT. Oh. Baby, the Denzosard is one of the finest machines. Oh, baby. Now that is is definitely one of my baby boo-boos right there. Uh, Gran Turismo 3. You guys should see me in the uh, uh, JGTC cars in uh, Gran Turismo 3. I can drive those cars like literally perfect in Gran Turismo 3. And this is one of them. They're a GT500 JGTC. If you guys are wondering what JGTC stands for, it is the Japan... Uh, Grand Touring Championship. So it's uh, Japanese cars. Um, I've explained this before. There's a million different touring cars. There's German touring cars, British touring cars. You know what I'm saying? There's there's all of V8 supercars, Australian supercars. There, there's tons of different uh, um, supercar uh, or uh, touring car uh, championships in the world. Uh, basically, every Pretty much every nationality has their own touring car championships and stuff, but that is a JGTC is the Japan GT Championship. So, what a beautiful machine, you guys! I'm glad we got that in our hands. Now we can definitely go ahead and use that in uh, some future uh, races in the game that involve uh, some of the fastest cars in the game because that car uh, is basically equal. We're actually going to go ahead and throw that at the top, and then put the pens oil above it. <laughs> if you're wondering how to organize your garage, you guys. You actually just go to the car that, uh, uh, you can't, like, say, like, okay, move this car to here and move that car to there. You actually just press start, and whatever car you press start on, it moves it to the top of your list. So, for instance, if I wanted the PT Spider to be right at the top of my list, I would literally just highlight it and press start. But I like, uh, my Penzoil being on the top, because that's my absolute sweet love, baby boo-boo darling. <laughs> She's so pretty, you guys. <laughs> 702 as well. It's actually above the legal restriction for JGTC. JGTC limit is uh, 690, if you guys are wondering. And that's in real life as well, 690 horsepower. I believe it's like 470-something now, because, uh, yeah, shit was getting a little bit too fast over there in Japan in the uh, early 2000s. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching the end of the Trial Mountain 30 Lap Endurance Racing Grand Turismo 2. You guys the goddamn best. And I hope you guys have a freaking awesome day. I'll see you guys all in the very next episode. Bye-bye.